and he's a uh, BA pilot and uh, as you probably already know but he's teaching me how to fly with one arm uh, I didn't really know what to expect coming into it but here we are and he's getting me in the air so it's pretty rad dude <laughs> known him for about a week now so has it been a week I think it's been a week nice. yeah it's already been a week a little more than a week yeah we've come a long way in a week time flies man yeah, so this is Lucas, and he's awesome, and he came around, and uh, we got a little warning from Joe Stone that he was going to be a fierce beast, but we didn't know what we were in store for. Yeah, after the first lesson, he went and ran up Superior, which is like a big mountain around here, and then came back with 100% stoked for the evening session. We've never seen that before. That's when we started to understand who we were dealing with, and uh, so we've just been hitting it hard every single day. It's been going great. Uh, I would say it was been a little bit. It was a little bit of a slowish start, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's just totally fun. Yeah. Figuring it out. Totally. Yeah. Um, I think for me, the, the coolest thing was that we've never um, taught anybody to fly with one arm. And we've done a lot of different stuff. But we've just never done that. So right. um, I had the experience like right during the very first uh, couple days that I had goosebumps, and I was like, whoa. Like when you took your first flight, I was like, whoa. And I hadn't had goosebumps in a while. And they were like legit goosebumps. And to be honest, in the beginning of Project Airtime, I used to get goosebumps all the time. So thanks for bringing cool. the stoke, yeah. And yeah. Um, that was a great feeling. And we, for sure, for sure, we know tons of guys who have flown with one arm. Uh, not tons, three or four. Um, over maybe 20 years. So this is not a totally new thing. But boy, was it new to us. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, what, what, was, uh, what was it like for you like in the first couple of days? Uh, man, I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect. It was just like, let's just see what happens, you know? I mean, um, I had done some kiting before, like tried to uh, with my buddy Mark Honeycutt, um, and like a couple years ago. And uh, we just kind of tried to figure out a system with the brakes um, and I just kind of run forward and smack myself in the head and see what happened. Um, but yeah, so I was just like kind of just open mind and see what would happen. And um, man, yeah, it's, it's been cool just to figure it out and be like, oh wow, yeah, that works. Okay, cool, that works. Like, let's just, yeah, keep rolling with it. So uh, try this bar and then try this bar and this bar worked better than this bar. So here we are, so <laughs> yeah. Um, I use a bar to connect both of the brake lines uh, toggles, so that's kind of how I manage it in front of me. So, um, yeah, it's been, been awesome. <laughs> now I'm up in the air, so it's, it's cool. But yeah, the first days were, were kind of intimidating, though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's a lot. I mean, like anybody learning something new like this, it's like a lot coming at you at once, and Chris is shouting all these things at me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I couldn't keep up with it, but uh, by day you know, two or three, I would start and be like, oh yeah, okay, I know what he's gonna say, and I can kind of maneuver it and be like, I can anticipate it a little bit more, which was like super rad, so. I didn't know that time was gonna come on day one. I was like, this is gonna take forever. Yeah. yeah. Very cool, well, it's been a good journey, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I remember in the beginning, I was like trying to teach you, and then I thought to myself, oh, well, I don't know how to fly the bar yet, myself. I better go yeah. fly this thing for a second. <laughs> so I went and flew it. And at one point I had the bar behind um, the risers, and which is kind of comfortable and groovy. But then it was time to lean forward and get athletic and ready to run, and the bar was stopping me. So right. I was kind of coming into land, and I was kind of needing to be on my feet, and I kind of had myself in a bind. Mm -hmm. and I, like, yeah. The alarms went off for a second, and I kind of had to go back yep, to yep. normal flying. I, oh, I saw, saw that. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's using his left arm there. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> But yeah, it's just been a learning process. And then we took the tandem that was and way cool. figured that out. That was a huge help, like just learning how to maneuver my hand around 
uh, the risers, like, man, that was cool. Because they're like, you can drop the bar, you know, and you can, you know, get over here, you know, maneuver it over here, slide it around, and uh, I'm like, oh, okay, you're just getting comfortable with that. So uh, that was awesome. That yeah. was, I think, a big bonus. <laughs> yeah, it worked so. out good. And we had, I think we had some uh, times when we didn't have any major breakthroughs, but at least yeah. once a day, yeah, there was crazy breakthroughs. Like, yeah. holy moly, we figured that out. Yeah. And it was yeah. always a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, it's like there's so, always little kinks that we're just kind of yeah. slowly kind of ironing out. And sometimes a new one kind of forms. We're like, oh, yeah, okay, let's do this. And yeah, every day it's been like something new. So. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see where it goes. I mean, every person that I've seen fly with a bar before had a bar this big. And right, when we yeah. tried a bar that big, we couldn't let off the brake effectively on the one side. Right. And so, funny story, I've had this bar in my trailer for like years, like literally years. Tons of stuff has gotten ejected from that trailer, but that thing just stayed. It was originally designed for paramotor dudes who wanted to have the bar under their elbows and then take video and still be able to steer. Yeah, but I knew that it was going to come in handy one day, so to speak, <laughs> and uh, so there we were, and I just pulled it out. And it's like, wow. <laughs> but ours is big, yeah. and we might want to go back and try the little one again. Right, I was kind of thinking that now yeah. that I'm kind of used to the slack on one side and breaking. Uh, yeah, it might be because it there'd be less, I think, of this happening. But who knows? I mean, right now it's it's working and it's. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. obviously it's a long journey and if we're teaching a person we have to take them from never ever to full on pilot and it's a big deal. It's not unlike raising a child in some ways because you, the flying world is a big bad world and uh, we need to really spend some quality time with you in the classroom and then out at the hill and we're going to set you free and set you up with some gear and then you have to be way good. Yeah. And so that's always been a great goal. It's like, if we can make you better than the average person at kiting, and better than the average person at making saves while kiting, then we know we're good. And yeah. I think we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're pretty much there. We're, we're definitely getting there. We definitely will. You definitely will be above average at that. And so um, I guess the question for you is um, you never know what the future will hold. And for sure, we need to nail those 35 ish, probably 45 flights here. But could you imagine yourself back home in Jackson sending it? Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm stoked for that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super stoked. <laughs> yeah. Well, today was huge. Like first soaring. Yeah. Yeah. First How time. Feel? Oh, it felt amazing. <laughs> I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. This is what it's about. <laughs> Getting moving around. I don't. I'm not just kind of cruising down to the landing. I'm like actually staying up. So yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was really good for us. That was super fun. Yeah. And it's fun to be with the other dudes. Yeah. You're right. Right. They're on the same journey as you. Yeah. And nobody's particularly progressing faster than anyone else. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I was I was saying today, um, you know, when we at Project Airtime when we help the brothers to fly, sometimes it's in the chair and there are all sorts of um, individuals that we work with, but fairly consistently without fail when they're out there flying, we go, whoa, look at that. Like that is cool. That's a moment for them. That's a freedom that they don't normally experience. For sure the same is true for you, but you're a rock star. You're you're at the mountains just charging. Uh, you ran up he ran up for those of you who are local you'll know he ran up Timpanogos in between lessons one day, which is would school just about anybody and they'd have to take a day off afterwards. It's a heck of a journey. And so you're used to just flying through the mountains on a, on the daily <laughs> and uh, swimming and biking like crazy and so this is just another rad thing for you to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think for sure the message that we want to send is just that we can help just about anybody to fly, especially if you want it or right. here. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, would you have anything that you would say to like uh, brothers who are, have challenges that think maybe they couldn't fly? I think just to reiterate that, like want it and own it. and. Uh, you know, it's gonna be overwhelming. You know, it's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be times of that. There's gonna be times where it's hard and frustrating, but um, if you want it, like, we'll get you up. <laughs> this guy's the master at it and uh, it, it'll work out. You know, it's gonna, it might take some time to figuring out, but um, yeah, you just kind of go with the flow and iron them out slowly, iron out the kinks and, and do it. So, and then it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Love it.
So if, for those of you who don't know, Project Air 10, we take everybody flying. Last year we had a guy who was about 250 and on a ventilator. That's about our limit. Um, taking the ventilator was definitely a big deal. And I'm not sure that uh, we need to be doing that every single day, but when people have a desire to fly, then we're here. And uh, we've been doing it for a number of years and there's no cost associated with coming and flying with us. And uh, the only thing that I will say uh, that's worth knowing is sometimes people call and inquire and we say, yes, come any day, whenever you figure it out, whenever you want to come, it's great. And that's the only problem that we have in the whole nonprofit is that people don't actually believe us. They can't imagine yeah. <laughs> that we're actually out there every single morning and every yeah. single night and that we could take care of them. Totally. And that if they just show up, that we'll make it happen. Yeah. So I think I texted you the day before I show up, showed up or something. I was like, hey, Chris, I think I can come down like tomorrow. I had never talked to him before. Joe had talked to you yeah. about it. And he's like, all right, cool. I'll see you then. And uh, I just showed up uh, camping on the south side. And uh, here we are. I mean, it's, yeah. it's literally just show. You got to show up. You got to come. Put in the effort to be here, um, and then Chris is more than more than willing to help you out and work with you. So, um, yeah, it's been an awesome ride so far. Can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The only thing better than the flying is just the community out there. Um, if you come around, you'll notice that we've got about the most lighthearted, sort of supportive, just good to go, diverse community that, that you can imagine and so um, oh, people so are usually yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it's a, after flying everybody's just hanging out uh, on the north side or the south side and um, fighting over to the house whatever it is you know where you just hang out with everybody that's camping out and it's it's a good time so yeah super fun community so so everybody's stoked on flying so <laughs> it's all good so. well as with all of our students the main goal is to make you long-term pilot you know, so that 10 years from now we're laughing about this moment, and uh, maybe 20 even. And so, uh, cheers to that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's, That's a good thing to look forward to. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, and also, I'll look forward to being in Jackson and making some circles with you one day. Yeah, man. Yeah. That'd be great. Come out. Pick up the logic. You stab the, a person lying on the ground whenever the glider goes that way. Stab him. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>